Hello everyone, this is Wen Changjin. I'm from the University of Texas at Arlington. In this video, I will present our paper, Acoustics, an acoustic assistant tool for people with visual impairments to cross uncontrolled streets. This is a joint work with Ming Yanxiao, Hua Li Zhu, Xu Shi Dev, Chen Kan, and Ming Li from the University of Texas at Arlington. How to navigate vision impaired people to cross streets is a long lasting topic. The state of solution is to install accessible pedestrian signals, APS, at in their intersections to assist visual impaired in determining when it is safe to cross. However, there are even more uncontrolled crosswalks where no traffic signals or APS are present. In practice, the pedestrian leverage hearing to discriminate between traffic sounds that are too far away to pose a hazard to crossing and those are within close proximity. Nevertheless, hearing-based judgment is not always reliable. It can be easily impacted by the environmental noises. We aim to develop a portable tool that alerts the pedestrian with the presence of oncoming vehicles that may cause hazard. Acoustics consists of speakers that are mounted in front of the vehicle to emit ultrasonic chirps and an app running on the pedestrian smartphone for signal analysis. Whenever a pedestrian senses a clear street and tends to proceed to the crosswalk, she turns on the app to double confirm her judgment. The app analyzes the received chirps to detect if an oncoming vehicle is too close to stop before the crosswalk. If yes, an alert is generated. Thus, the critical challenge here is how to measure the relative distance between the vehicle and the crosswalk, as well as calculating vehicle's stopping distance, SSD. We observe D0 is determined by the relative distance and angle between the vehicle and the pedestrian, while the stopping distance, SSD, is determined by the vehicle's motion velocity. Thus, acoustics consists of four major system components, velocity measurement, angle measurement, distance measurement, and alert generation. We first present designs on the velocity measurement module. Vehicles mounted with the external speakers that emit the chirp signals ranging from 17 kHz to 19 kHz. A straightforward solution of measuring the velocity is to analyze the Doppler frequency shift of the received chirps. The task is easy if only one vehicle is nearby. In our case, oftentimes, several vehicles are present. Their immediate chirps are overlapping, rendering distinguished among them are extremely challenging tasks, let alone analysis in the frequency shift for each vehicle. Thus, how to complete the measurement if there are multiple vehicles? We perform STFT transformation of received signals. We find that received samples associated with each vehicle generates a series of pulses in the time frequency domain. Lining up the pulses produces a TF reply that can identify the corresponding acoustic sounds due to the unique combination of its offset time and the moving speed. The formal analysis reveals that the slope of TF reply is a function of vehicle's relative velocity. We explore this relationship to derive multiple vehicles' velocities. This module estimates the vehicle's direction of arrival DOA with respect to the pedestrian. Its measurement is achieved by analysis in the time difference of arrival TDOA at the receiver's two microphones, which can be calculated by applying the MGCC function over microphones received signals. With all measured vehicles' motion status, including angle, speed, distances, we then calculating the safe stopping distance SSD for each vehicle to evaluate if it can cause collision hazards. We developed a prototype to use it to prove the effectiveness of our design. The alerts it generated successfully when the vehicle is approaching to the pedestrian at a close distance. As a proof of concept in presentation, we developed the prototype of Kusis with a portable speaker and a smartphone. All testings are conducted at the campus parking lot, as shown in the figure. 
The testing results shows that the Kusis can successfully alert the oncoming myocos with different speeds while experiences the largest misdetection rate MDR of 11.3% and the false alarm rate FAR of 10% respectively. We examined the detection performance of acoustics with the presence of four vehicles. We noticed that the FAR uh, slightly increases, however, it still maintains good performance with the largest FAR value as 12%. Acoustics also have been tested in different weathers and usage time. The performances are also relatively stable. Thank you for your attention. For more details, Please refer our paper.